at World Class Premier, we're really focused on making all of our players technical. Um, and we want each player on the field to be able to uh, know what to do with the ball at their feet. Know to be able to take on players, even if you're a defender and you're caught in a situation where you might need to beat one before you can connect your pass. We want all of our players to be able to do that. One of the things is nowadays, and especially in the youth sport, is that there's this misrepresentation of what a talented player is. Um, now, if you're very athletic and you're able to dribble the ball a little bit, you're considered to be a very good player, whereas players who are not necessarily as athletic but are technical are being overlooked. And this is another thing that we need to think about changing. Recently, um, Michael Owens, who is a Liverpool legend, England national team player, played from Real Madrid, came out and said the same thing that, you know, of course he's speaking it from a, a, a professional level that the players now at the professional level are not necessarily more skilled, and they're just more athletic. And what is being considered a good player is that a player that can cover more ground, that's more athletic, um, versus back in his days where the players were more skills. And I 100% agree with that. Um, you know, I grew up in the era where we used to watch a Ronaldinho, uh, the Zidane, and all these guys that were not necessarily uh, the fastest players on the pitch, but the amount of skill that they had to make things happen was incredible. And especially at the youth level, at the youth, especially in our country, and I think it's happening worldwide now, but mainly in the U.S. as we speak about the U.S. Uh, the U.S. soccer landscape, we're just looking at the athletic players. And I want to just say it again. Being more athletic doesn't necessarily make you better than anyone else. Um, I've seen so many athletic players who are not skillful, but because they can hang by just outrunning someone or by keeping up with the uh, fast players or can cut off players, they're considered to be very good players. And we are world class don't want to subscribe to that way of thinking at all. Especially our athletic players, we force them to be in a position where they have to be better players with the ball at their feet, to be good decision makers. Um, and we want every player, and unfortunately because we are so caught up in a result-driven um, environment, especially in the U.S., we tend, to, uh, we tend to want to use those players more. We tend to not teach those players what they should be doing with the ball or how they can be better with the ball at their feet. We tend to put them in a position where what they naturally have is what they always use and eventually it limits those players from going further. It limits those players when the game becomes when they're on the field with, with more athletic players. Now you need to really use the skill to get out of the situation that you find yourself in. You can't because you don't have it. Their career don't go further. And our World Class Premier, we don't want that to be all players. We're very keen on trying to help all our players to be very technical all across the pitch. And, you know, I just said it again, if you are a player who just solely depends on your athleticism because you're fast and you're strong, uh, you know, we encourage you to try to be just as good with the ball at your feet um, as you are with being fast with your feet without the ball.